Imagine a city where every corner, every system, and every service feels like it was designed for tomorrow. Where the flow of people and data is as seamless as the tropical breeze. Where technology isn't a novelty but the very bedrock of a nation's success. This is not the stuff of futuristic movies. This is Singapore, the tiny island nation that has quietly, and with immense purpose, become one of the most advanced countries on Earth. It's a story not of a massive landmass or abundant resources, but of visionary leadership, relentless planning, and a national commitment to a singular goal, to build a city-state that could not only survive but thrive. When Singapore gained independence in 1965, its future looked grim. It was a small, poor, and overcrowded island with no natural resources and a fractured population. The odds were stacked against it. Yet, today, it is a global powerhouse, a shining example of urban innovation, economic prosperity, and technological foresight. The transformation from a vulnerable island to a beacon of the future wasn't an accident. It was the result of a deliberate, long-term strategy that treated the entire country as a masterclass in design. The secret to Singapore's success lies in its radical approach to governance and urban planning. From the very beginning, leaders like Lee Kuan Yew, the country's founding father, understood that without a strong, stable, and forward-thinking government, the nation would fail. They didn't just build roads and houses, they built a national operating system. This system was designed to be efficient, incorruptible, and constantly evolving. This foundational commitment to design and data is what makes Singapore stand out. Its Smart Nation initiative, launched in 2014, is a national roadmap to integrate technology into every facet of daily life. This isn't just about cool gadgets. It's about using technology to solve fundamental problems. Smart traffic systems use AI to analyze real-time data and reroute traffic, minimizing congestion and reducing commute times. Sensors are everywhere, monitoring everything from air quality to waste levels in public bins, allowing city services to operate with unprecedented efficiency. And the SingPass digital ID platform, which gives citizens and residents access to over 2,000 government services, from filing taxes to scheduling a doctor's appointment, is a prime example of a unified, user-centric approach to public service. This deep integration of data and technology into city life is not just about convenience. It's about creating a more livable and sustainable environment. Buildings like the Marina One and Capita Spring are more than just impressive skyscrapers. They are vertical ecosystems with lush greenery integrated into their design, showcasing a commitment to blending nature with urban development. This is a country that is not waiting for the future. It's actively building it, one smart solution and green building at a time. The cornerstone of any nation's future is its people, and Singapore has invested heavily in developing its most valuable resource, human talent. Its education system consistently ranks number one globally in key subjects like math, science, and reading. But this isn't just about test scores. The real genius lies in its philosophy, which is built on preparing students not just for the jobs of today but for the careers of tomorrow. The Singaporean education system trains students to be analysts, not just memorizers. It's a pedagogical approach that prioritizes critical thinking, problem solving, and creativity. Coding and robotics are introduced in primary school, not as extracurriculars but as foundational skills. This early exposure to technology and logical thinking equips a new generation with the tools they need to succeed in a rapidly changing world. This focus on innovation extends beyond the classroom. Institutions like the National University of Singapore, NUS, and the Agency for Science, Technology and Research, a asterisk star, are powerhouses of cutting-edge research in fields like artificial intelligence, biotech, and quantum computing. These innovation hubs are the engines of a knowledge-based economy, attracting top talent from around the world and fostering a culture of discovery and invention. The results speak for themselves. Major global tech companies like Google, Meta, formerly Facebook, and Dyson have chosen Singapore for their Asian headquarters. They are drawn not just by the country's strategic location and stable business environment, but by the deep pool of highly skilled and innovative talent. Singapore's educational edge is the reason it consistently punches above its weight in global innovation rankings, proving that with the right education system, 
a small nation can become a giant in the global economy. What truly sets Singapore apart is not just the presence of technology, but its seamless integration into the machinery of government. The bureaucracy, often a source of frustration and inefficiency in other countries, is a model of precision and foresight in Singapore. Through the Smart Nation Initiative, the government has digitized nearly every public service. This isn't just about online forms. It's about creating a responsive and proactive system. Real-time dashboards provide citizens with information on everything from available parking spaces in a district to the latest rainfall patterns and energy usage. This commitment to open data empowers both citizens and developers, creating new opportunities for innovation. The concept of predictive maintenance systems is a game changer. Instead of waiting for a problem to arise, city services can use data to anticipate and fix issues before they become major problems. For example, sensors on public infrastructure can detect minor cracks or malfunctions, alerting maintenance crews to fix the issue long before it can lead to a collapse or a service interruption. This isn't just high-tech governance. It's a form of government that is proactive, preventive, and incredibly precise, saving time and money while improving the quality of life for all residents. This level of digital integration is a testament to the government's long-term vision. They understood that building a truly advanced society required a fundamental rethink of how public services are delivered. By embracing technology, Singapore has created a government that is not only efficient but also remarkably transparent and responsive to the needs of its citizens. Singapore's physical landscape is a living embodiment of its futuristic mindset. The city's relentless pursuit of innovation is evident in its iconic projects, which seamlessly blend stunning architecture with advanced engineering and lush greenery. Take the jewel at Changi Airport, for example. This $1.3 billion complex is a marvel of urban planning, featuring the world's largest indoor waterfall, a vast terrace garden, and AI-driven customer service bots. It's more than just an airport terminal. It's a destination in itself, a perfect first impression of a country that prioritizes beauty, functionality, and technological integration. But Singapore's innovation isn't just for show. Beneath the surface, the underground master plan is a project to shift essential infrastructure, like highways, utilities, and storage facilities, below ground. This strategic move frees up valuable surface land for green spaces, housing, and public parks, a crucial step for a land-scarce nation. It's a bold and visionary plan that redefines what's possible in urban development. Even public housing, where 80% of Singaporeans live, is a testament to this commitment. These high-rise communities are not just affordable. They are equipped with advanced features like solar panels, smart elevators, and centralized waste disposal systems that automatically sort recyclables. In many cities, Sustainability is a luxury. In Singapore, it is a non-negotiable standard. The nation has a bold pledge to reach net zero emissions by 2050. This goal is supported by ambitious projects, including a 42-hectare floating solar farm and one of the world's most advanced water recycling systems, which transforms used water into high-grade reclaimed water. This holistic approach to urban planning and sustainability demonstrates that economic growth and environmental responsibility are not mutually exclusive, they can, and must, be aligned. Singapore's reputation for strict laws is well known, and it's a key factor in the nation's incredibly low crime rates. But the purpose of this strictness isn't just about punishment. It's about creating a safe, stable, and predictable society. This security is powered by technology with systems like predictive policing, surveillance drones, and advanced facial recognition being used to optimize public safety. Unlike in more authoritarian states, this pervasive surveillance is used to enhance safety, not to suppress dissent. Real-time data and geolocation tools allow police to respond to incidents within minutes, while automated systems monitor for unusual public activity, like someone fainting or loitering in a restricted zone, and alert authorities instantly. This high-tech approach to law enforcement has allowed Singapore to maintain an astonishing level of safety and stability, making it one of the most secure countries in the world. This blend of security and civility creates a high-trust society where people feel safe and confident in their daily lives. It allows the city to operate with an efficiency and order that is a marvel to behold. 
This is not just a high-tech police state. It is a meticulously managed society where technology and law are used to create a foundation of safety and order, upon which all other advancements are built. Singapore's story is more than just a tale of economic success. It is a quiet blueprint for what the world could look like. It proves that size doesn't matter as much as a cohesive, long-term vision. With no natural resources and a challenging geopolitical landscape, Singapore has demonstrated that with the right systems and a commitment to innovation, a nation can not only overcome its limitations but leapfrog its larger counterparts. The Singaporean model is a powerful lesson in alignment. It shows what's possible when governance, technology, urban design, and education are all working together toward a common goal. This is not a system for everyone. It requires a level of trust, discipline and long-term planning that many societies find difficult to sustain. Yet, as cities across the globe grapple with traffic chaos, political instability, and environmental decay, Singapore stands as a shining example of what's possible when a nation dares to build for the future. The journey from a struggling port city to a global leader in innovation is a testament to the power of human ingenuity and bold leadership. It's a reminder that the greatest resource a country can have is not oil or gold but a clear vision and an unwavering commitment to building a better future for its people. Singapore isn't just a place to visit. It's a city to learn from a living laboratory for a new kind of civilization. If you learn something new about how one small island is shaping the future, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more videos like this. Comment below. What country do you think is quietly becoming the next world leader? This is the world equation where power, technology, and geopolitics meet. See you in the next one.